Hi everybody, today we will see about autoreceptors. Autoreceptors location and regulation. Autoreceptors are present in or around the axon nerve terminal. So they are regulated by their own neurotransmitter which they release. For example, norepinephrine release is controlled by the same norepinephrine which is released from the acts on nerve terminals which acts on the alpha 2a and 2c receptors present in the presynapse. So autoreceptors can either increase or decrease the release of neurotransmitter. For example, nicotinic presynaptic receptors when activated by acetylcholine will facilitate the further increase of acetylcholine. However, the cholinergic muscarinic presynaptic receptors will inhibit the release of acetylcholine by acting on M2 and M4 autoreceptors and neural peptide by inhibits its own release and it also acts as an auto. So going uh, into the mechanism of action of how the autoreceptors act, we will take one example of neural peptide Y. So once this neural peptide Y uh, goes and activates the autoreceptor, what happens is it will either close the calcium channel or it will activate the potassium channel or it will also regulate its activity by regulation of vesicle release after the calcium entry into the vesicle. So these are some of the mechanisms by which uh, once activated uh, autoreceptors will exhibit their so the autoreceptors we have seen it can be in and around the axon so the locations one is presynapse we know very well presynapse here we can see 5 hd 1b 1d 1b receptor which is present in the presynapse and also it can be present in the somatodendritic dendrites here example 5 hd 1a receptor so this happens in case of serotonergic neurons where autoreceptors are present both in presynapse and somatodendrites and uh, the type of receptors present uh, in these the both are autoreceptors however the types are different the one present in somatodendrites is 5-HT1A however the pre one present in presynapse is 5-HT1B1D so here is the diagram explaining the same other examples are uh, presynaptic D2 receptors when activated by dopamine inhibits its own release by acting through GA coupled mechanism further it causes decrease in CAM. Similarly, presynaptic GABA B receptors also act as autoreceptors, again acting through GI protein and decreasing CAMP and decreasing calcium entry or increasing potassium. So what is the clinical implication of autoreceptors? Sometimes chronic treatment with uh, antidepressants can desensitize autoreceptors by modulation of G protein coupled signaling and activation of protein kinases and ion channels. Example is whenever we uh, start treatment with SSRIs, it causes stimulation of 5-HT1A and 5-HT7 autoreceptors on cell bodies and RAFA nucleus and of 5-HT1D autoreceptors on serotonergic nerve terminals and this reduces serotonin synthesis and release towards pre-drug pre levels. On prolonged uh, administration of antidepressants, the autoreceptors may get desensitized. Activation of presynaptic serotonergic neurons such as 5-HT1B1D have been found to be the main uh, mechanism of action in migraine treatment. The source of this entire lecture is Goodman-Gilman, The Pharmacological Basis of Therapeutics, 12th edition, 2019.